A man has admitted guilt to helping in the killing of over 3,000 birds, including eagles. According to court records, a guy who is charged with aiding in the slaughter of almost 3,000 birds, including eagles, plans to enter a guilty plea. Prosecutors claim that during a years-long killing spree on the Flathead Indian Reservation in Montana and other locations, Travis John Branson and others murdered over 3,600 birds. The official records indicate that Branson, a resident of Cusick, Washington state, is probably going to admit to trafficking in wildlife as well as other offenses. By a deal reached with the prosecution, he will enter a guilty plea to lesser accusations of conspiracy, trafficking in wildlife, and two cases of illegal eagle trafficking. Buyers were told by Branson and others that he was on a killing spree in text exchanges that detectives collected, according to the indictment. It was purportedly intended to gather eagle tail feathers for potential sales. Simon Paul, a second suspect from St. Ignatius, Montana, did not show up for his initial court hearing in early January and is still at large. Paul was called by the prosecution a shooter and a shipper for Branson. Dwight Schultz, Paul's attorney, opted not to respond. While his attorney refrained from commenting on the plea deal, Branson did not reply to a message. Eagle components were purportedly sold by the accused on the illicit market. It is illegal in the U.S. for anybody to kill, injure, or disturb eagles without permission, or to take any of their parts, including nests or eggs. Nonetheless, a U.S. government investigation indicates that unlawful gunshots account for a significant portion of golden eagle fatalities. Many Native American tribes greatly value their eagle and other bird feathers, which are utilized in powwows and ceremonial ceremonies. Details from a different South Dakota trafficking case last year revealed that young golden eagle feathers are highly prized by Native Americans. One of the bird's tail sets may fetch several hundred dollars on the market. A guy from Montana received a three-year prison sentence in that trafficking case.